<coughs> dime just hit the thing, but this is going to be a really deep, philosophical, almost poetic video. So, um, I just want to talk about how I think that life is like one giant game being played by consciousness. Um, it's like consciousness is in everything around us and it's like being everything around us so we can experience what it's like to be everything. So, this is just my opinion, my theory, my whatever. Like I said, this is almost like a poetic video. But, um, I think it's like, life is like this game that we're playing. And there are objectives of the game. And some people would, like the loaded term for this would be like, what's the meaning of life? But it's more like, what is the game we're playing? What are the rules of the game? What are the objective of the game? This is why it's like people will say, well, what is your purpose? Because in this game, it's like everyone has a different purpose. Like everyone is a different player with almost different objectives, but it's all reaching the end goal, which is death. Like the end goal is death. And I think that people get caught up in trying to avoid playing the game and they get distracted in the world that we're in. Like, there's a world that we're in and then we created a world on top of that world that we call the modern day world and modern society. Where, like, people can, for their week, they can plan going on vacations. They can plan doing this and doing that, going out to eat and going out to dance or going out, like buying a house and buying a bunch of cars and traveling the world like they can plan their life like that but if you only did that stuff you missed the objective of the game and you just kind of played around in the world and i'm not saying it's right or wrong i'm just saying on my physical my philosophical mind about this was in my the fact that i've been i've been a rapper since i was like 11 that's why I said this is almost poetic because I was literally thinking about this and like a, how life is like a song. Like it's like a poetic thing happening. It's like an expression of art where the creator is expressing something, creating something and then playing inside of that something. And this is why I say all the time that life is a fractal universe. That's what's happening on the in the other dimensions is somewhat fractaling out in this dimension in a similar way but it's like what they say about e8 and quasi crystals and i'm not going to try to fully explain what a quasi crystal is it's just that my hand is a perfect shape and the shadow on the wall would be a little distorted even though it's the it's a reflection of, you know, my hand itself, but a shadow is not, depending on how far or big or whatever you are from the wall, the shadow will be bigger or smaller. It'll be misshaped. It's not going to be perfect shaped like this. So that's what a quasi crystal is, that we are in a quasi crystal dimension. The physical dimension is a quasi crystal where it's like imperfect. It's a shadow of something that's more perfect than this world. And this world is a quasi-crystal of that world. And, or a shadow of that world. And it's like, that world meaning the different dimensions, but meaning the different levels. This is why I say life is a video game. Because consciousness is what we are, but we're, well, we're a piece of it. But like, the giant consciousness, the one... You know, the, the one, oneness, all, the main source, that thing is where consciousness comes from because that's the main consciousness itself that splits itself up in many different ways and throws itself into many different dimensions, just like light. Like light, like there's a light right above this thing and the light is projecting itself out onto me, but the light doesn't just stay where it's at like it projects itself out to everything that's in front of it and it's consciousness is doing that same thing 
into the game. And then we go into the game. And this is why I say game. Because what's happening with, like, video games. We create video games. And then we're going to be creating VR video. Like, we have VR video games. Where you can start to go into the game. Because you are also consciousness that is, ex like expressing yourself out into things just like light does or just like the main consciousness is doing we are all part of this game this giant game being played by what we could say is god but like i don't know i, I think it's a very interesting scary but beautiful thing we're like because we're unconscious of what is going on and what we are doing, we are creating video games and the internet and all these different things where we're expressing ourselves into the two-dimensional world in a sense, but we're not thinking about it in that way because we're not conscious of it. We're just being what we are, but we don't know what we're being. Like, we're being creators. Like, because we are many third dimensional creators and but that's because we're part of the game and we're playing the game but this is why that term npc was so popular a few years ago where like you have non-player characters in this game and even unconsciously everyone who was saying the word npc unconsciously was thinking to themselves that this world is a video game being played by consciousness they they didn't think about it in that way but they knew because why else would you call it why else would you associate the people that are not aware as npcs well because you subconsciously kind of look at it like well this is like a video game and there's people that are the conscious players playing the game and then there's people that are part of the computer in a sense or the the thing playing the game or the matrix and it's almost like like even like everyone is the thing so even the non-player characters are the thing even the computer is part of mother earth people think technology is separate from mother earth but everything we use to make technology came from mother earth all the materials, like, yeah, you could say, oh, we created plastic. Yeah, but by mixing a few different natural materials together into thing, or by taking a natural material and adding things to the molecule or taking things away from the molecule, but that is still consciousness building reality. Like, we, even if we're subconsciously or unconsciously building reality, unconsciously building these things... But it's still being created because we are still creators in this game. Like this, there's something that we're working towards. And I think one of the main objectives of the game is to become a great, like your best version in this game. Like it's like we get distracted with the way you know, the world is and we can play around in the game. And we get distracted with the fact that we can just <clears throat> YOLO play you know you only live once you know let's party it up and live it up we mistake that for playing the game and it's all part of the game but yet it's about i feel like there's objectives where like when i healed my mental health when i got my heart broken and i like there's so much shit that i had i, I went through but it was like i was going through different milestones in the game and if I can make it over, if I could overcome these issues, these problems and whatever, then I will be a better version of myself as I keep going along. I'll just keep getting better and better and better, like becoming a better version of me. And the issue is, though, that everyone has a different purpose. So everyone has a different objective. But I think there's some objectives that everyone can share and I mean no disrespect, but I think one of the objectives is taking care of your body. Like, taking care of your, your, your avatar in the game. Because it's 
yours and you're the one that has to take care of it and the more healthy your body is the better it'll work and the better you'll be able to play the game like there's like i think we need to get in shape i think we need to heal our mental health i think we need to like there's so much things we need to do and it's not necessarily about healing our mental health because i hate that term because we have physical health and mental health, right? We both use the word health for physical health and mental health. But with physical health, you, we don't say you're going to heal your physical health. We say we're going to get in shape. Like, you see like how the words matter. So I don't think it's about necessarily healing your mental health because it's about getting your mind in shape and once your mind is in shape you could deal with life because you're gonna have bad feelings you're gonna have shit that happens to you you're gonna whatever but if you develop mental strength if you develop mental control if you develop a stoic mind in a sense or if you develop these things like these are things you can develop just like if you start working out, you're not going to be in shape in the next four months. It might take four years, but you just have to keep doing, working on it, working on it, working on it. Because what the fuck else are we doing on li in life? Like, this is what I was thinking when I was like getting myself mentally healed, getting myself physically healed getting myself through certain things that I need to get through in my life, Go, like trying to get past certain obstacles, why I don't ever look at it like I want to give up because there is no giving up because this is just the game. Like I look at this kind of very similar to the way like old humans did, where it's just life. The reason why old humans didn't have mental health issues is because they had no choice but to do the thing or die. Like... Now we have choices because we have it a little easy, but having it a little easy means we need to become conscious enough to become the same strong humans that we were, but more conscious and technological and more advanced. But like, we're losing the mental strength because we don't have to go through as much shit. And we don't have to, we're more comfortable than we have ever been in this game. Which is great. But like... I just think we need to understand that, of course, even if you get all the physical things in the reality, if you're overweight and you don't have love and you don't have, like, any, like if you're not close to anyone, if you don't do what you love to do, if you don't, like, feel the way you want to feel, of course you're going to feel like shit and be like, like, you know what I mean? And people think they have no control, but as soon as you... Realize, no, you do have control over what you do with your 24 hours in the day. Like, you do have control over your own life. It's just not easy. It's much easier to let the game control you. And then people say it's an NPC, but, like, that's what an NPC is. Where you are letting the game control you because if it's much easier. And, yeah, it's much easier to just be like, ah, oh, society says I should do this, so I'm going to do that. Society says I should do this, so I'm going to do that. Oh, I'm black? Oh, society says I should be some thug dude, so I'm going to be that. Oh, I'm, you know, whatever. So, like, that's what I mean. If you don't become conscious of it, you'll become part of the game, the NPC. I was an NPC when I literally thought I was a thug. I never crossed my mind that I wasn't. I was like, I'm black. This is who I'm supposed to be. It never crossed my mind. But that's what I mean. Where it's like, once I became conscious, I then started playing the game. Like figuring out the objective of what do I need to do? Why don't I feel like me? What the fuck am I doing? At first, I was just traveling dimensions with DMT and smoking DMT because I was like, well, this is my journey. I felt the calling to going down the psychedelic shamanic journey. But it's like, I'm like, okay, 
So I went down that journey. And then it led me to where I am today. And into these crazy ass thoughts and, and whatever the fuck. But I just wanted to like talk about this in a, um, in almost a poetic way, right? Because like, I look at these videos as like freestyles in a sense because I free flow everything. So like, I used to rap and I used to freestyle rap. So like, this is very similar to freestyle rapping when you just have an idea and you want to play around with the words with the idea in a freestyle way. And um, I just think we're playing a game. Um, <clears throat> and that's why there's cheat codes to the game. Like that whole thoughts create reality thing is a cheat code if you can truly understand it. <clears throat> and the people that do, they usually gain more control over their reality. And <clears throat> some of them don't even realize that it's like a game. They're not thinking about it in that way. They just figured out a cheat code of how to thoughts create reality their life out and then get whatever they wanted. But they didn't philosophically think, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm consciousness playing this video game and you know, whatever. We're immersed in a like an eighth dimensional video game or consciousness is and it's um yeah interesting